Mr. Speaker. Um, it is indeed my pleasure as well to stand up and support this bill today, and welcome to our honoured guests. Um, when I first moved to Fairview many years ago, um, I was delighted as a Scottish-Canadian girl to find out there was an area called Highland Park, uh, just west of the city, of, of the town. Um, to my surprise, Highland Park, there's not a Scottish person lives in it. It, in fact, is one of our many Ukrainian settlements in our area, and um, some of the first people to come to Canada and some of the best, very best farmers in our area live in that and many other areas um, of Ukrainian descent in our area. Um, the first Ukrainian food I ever had was when I was in Fairview. I had never had a pierogi or a cabbage roll before, and uh, now I can't think of life without having those at, at many of our community events. <laughs> we too enjoy uh, in our area many uh, Ukrainian dance groups, and uh, some of them are multi-generational. There's grandparents, parents, and children all learning and passing on the culture of the dance. And to fundraise many times, these groups uh, cater. And in fact, uh, then we get to enjoy uh, Ukrainian food again and again. And in fact, it's a disappointment in our area if you go to a wedding or an event and there isn't Ukrainian food, which is a rarity. Um, I too have had uh, the pleasure of hearing some of the stories of our pioneer people who came, the Ukrainians who came and lived in granaries, as was uh, described earlier. One lady in our community, they lived in a granary for two years and raised two children in that granary until they were able to build their house and establish their farm. And again, uh, when we talk of strong women, my goodness, she was one of the strongest women I've ever met. Um, I have a friend who uh, is from Andrew, Alberta, who uh, used to import up to Fairview. She had a Mundare sausage connection uh, and would share that with all of us. Uh, in her words, that's the best sausage around. Um, I was often envious of people who had that uh, Ukrainian connection because I don't in my family. But I got my wish four years ago when uh, my, da my daughter-in-law, Andrea Kodlak, married my son. Um, so her family came in the 1900s. They were one of the first, and I believe, and I was trying to text her to see if it's true, I believe she's related to the Stelmax. They, they certainly settled in that area. And I see the pride in her um, talk about things she's learned from her baba, and her and her dad to this day uh, prepare Ukrainian food, the 12 dishes, uh, the night before Christmas. So to our delight, uh, we have our own little Ukrainian cook in the family now. And I hope one day that I'll get to learn from her how to make, which I think she, her mother makes the best borscht I've ever had. So I look forward to us passing this bill because then on September 7th, we'll have another reason to uh, celebrate uh, with my daughter-in-law and uh, have one more reason to eat Ukrainian food. So thank you. Thank you.